what's up guys if y'all don't remember i did replace a condenser fan motor on here before i do have a video i think it was about like a month or two ago uh, when the technician found uh, the motor out now this unit got another issue where these uh well this receiver tank is uh, leaking these receiver tanks are known to leak 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 i've seen so many of these leak i worked on them had to replace them uh, I feel like the build quality of them are not there. All right, guys. So if y'all don't remember, I had replaced the heater on uh, this freezer. Apparently, somebody came back maybe a month or so after me and placed on this new trim. Um, but these heat, this door is still having a closing issue where it's creating ice. It ain't ice around here, but. Heater is not working, but it do got new trim. Well, it is, it is running. As a matter of fact, on this side, I feel pretty warm. Might just be the door gasket then, because it's all torn to hell. Well, I feel pretty warm. Well, what I'm going to do is take that apart. Uh, check the amp draw on it and uh, go from there. All right, guys, so I verified uh, amp draw. We got 1.2 uh, amps. Um, so the heaters is working properly. Um, what's going on? Oh, this is true. Somebody effed it up. Well, I won't say they effed it up, but they didn't put it back where I was supposed to. You can see it. It's, uh, it's how it's supposed to be. We're going to take this out. I'm going to see if I can maneuver it in some type of way. Uh, but my co-worker was going to get like some panhandle screws because he think that's uh, probably causing it also too. So, yeah. But look like we're in Antarctica right here. All right, guys. So I got it right back in its place. Only thing we need to do is just get some screws, uh, tack her in, and um, see if the door can close. We is going to have to replace this gasket also it's all torn to hell all right guys so like i said the screw heads on here had to tore this gasket up and plus the ice too but um i'm finna get a longer screw i got them in we still got a gap up top up. Still got it's, it's closed, but it ain't perfect. On the screen should indicate refrigeration in a bit. That sensor is reading all wrong. There we go. Refrigeration. Anyway, this door was way out. This What's up guys, so I'm at another store, the other store I was at was at a dollar store. We had a um, fix the door trim around that um, freezer door. You know, also we had that uh, receiver tank leaking. Now I'm about like an hour, some minutes, hour 55, maybe two away at another store where they had a daily cold case uh, leaking onto the floor. And it's sweating real bad underneath and on the uh, front of the case. And I said, that's gotta be our issue. But then it's by the kitchen and I know they spray water and stuff. So I got a bucket of water and poured it on the back. Wasn't really uh, too much seeing anything was uh, pouring out uh, towards the front of the case. But this unit's supposed to be running as of right now, but it's not. Um, the reason why I know that because the supply is at 79, which I knew something was going on up here. So I gotta see what's going on up here. Our store humidity level is nearly at um, 89. That's way too high. This thing should be running right now. Probably should get my gauges and put it on. 
All right, guys, so based off observation, before I grab my gauges, I do see this area oiled up. This cap was pretty loose, as y'all can hear. Uh, we gotta see where our pressure I cut in is uh, set around 25 PSI, so it's not even probably met around there. Uh, we're gonna see. I believe it's this compressor with the WAPS uh, WAPS on there because I trace because it's this first stage. They got to be that one. And this one for the other unit. But this one not being called for. Uh, that one should be though. All right, guys. So this uh, store got two units. That one just do uh, heat reclaim. Uh, uses uh, the hot gas uh, from the rack, the hot discharge gas from the rack. This unit which is on the top, got two stages of one and uh, two of cooling. Um, so that units just have that whole uh, thing up top that I just showed y'all. So on the controllers indicating that cool stage one and two is on. Um, the set point is not reached, indicating 74. Um, set point should be around like 69, but it's indicating that it's on both stages all right guys first circuit got plenty of pressure on there and the second stage is uh completely out um down below the suspension valve area looked like it was oily and somebody had a drum down there so somebody might have known it's number two though they ain't got nothing all right guys so i'm checking the control side i don't even have 120 volts here uh or here i have nothing on the control side uh, like i said our stage one we got plenty of pressure and all that so if i can get that going gotta figure out what's going on with the control side but i literally check each uh switch uh the power it is 120 volts we got 240 but it's 120 which is the control side um, i have nothing uh, i want to check these fuses here probably see what's going on here literally so uh it sucks i gotta cut it short uh, but i was just here for a daily case leaking water on the floor um, like i said i checked the pipes now it was leaking from there we had heavy condensation under the case and on the product itself uh, the store humidity in there is like 89, so it's really high. Um, that unit not running at all. Uh, we don't have no control uh, voltage. I didn't have anything at my uh, safety switches uh, when I checked on the line side. I don't have nothing at all. Um, I was trying to figure it out, but I got caught in the rain, and I, I'm not going to work in the rain all wet and stuff. I can't. I won't be able to think properly and all that. I, mean, I would be able to do it, but it, it, it ain't worth it, man. Just, you know, put my life uh, on the line just for an AC unit, even though they didn't call that in. The store feels good, but when it starts to get hot, yes, yeah, uh, they're going to need somebody back. But we don't have no boats to try some noise. It's not operating at all. Uh, I traced the wire and making sure it goes straight up towards the top of the unit. And I was trying to check that dry uh, sump uh, transformer. Uh, Y'all let me know if y'all know how they wired up. I was look, doing research, probably insert a picture, but that's what they have on uh, the unit uh, as a transformer. Uh, but anyway, uh, on the black wires, I have uh, 120, but the other wire, I don't have nothing at all. So I was trying to get deep, deep in it, but man, it's raining hard as hell right now. Uh, but the reason why that case is sweating and leaking out on the floor is because of the humidity in the store. I uh, check other cases, they got sweat and all that on top too. Um, the controller is calling for both stages. Uh, mind you, you, got one stage, the charge is good. The other stage, we got no gas in it at all. So we're about to return, uh, leak check and all that and figure it out. Like I said, it was leaking on the suspension valve and then I had uh, up top on the unit, it was leaking on uh, the low pressure switch um, area. Um, so it sucks, but don't want to, you know, put too much overtime in. I just came for a case and then, uh, came from there. But if y'all got any input, drop it down below. We don't have, uh, 
no control voltage. Um, I checked my fuses, they all good. I tested them, um, but I'm checking around. I don't have no 120 uh, nowhere. So uh, I was gonna uh, figure out the transformer issue and work my way down uh, to see what's going on. We got the proper voltage coming in on the high side. We got 208 volts coming in. Um, but it's just the control side that I got to figure out because it's calling for it. So we got to see why. Um, I don't know. We, we'll figure it out.